fatty liver, one of the world's growing health issues. Two out of ten people have this. Do you want to know how you can prevent from getting it in the first place? Or if you already have it, do you want to find out if you can get rid of it? You will find all the answers to your questions about fatty liver disease in this video by watching until the end. Let us understand a little bit about the function of liver in our body. It is a vital organ and it is engine for our body. It has got multiple supporting functions. It produces bile, this green liquid that gets stored in the gallbladder and gets released for digestion of fat in the food what we eat. It is responsible for producing certain proteins that our body needs. It stores iron. It converts nutrients into energy. It is responsible for producing certain substances that can make our blood clot when we have a cut. It helps in getting rid of the bacteria and toxins from the blood. It helps us fight infection by producing certain immune factors. Fatty liver a condition where there is excess buildup of fat in the liver. A normal healthy liver contains small amount of fat. If your liver has 5 to 10 percent of its total weight as fat then it becomes a problem. Some people have more than 10 percent of their liver weight as fat. Fatty liver disease has got various stages. The first stage is what we call as steatosis, which is harmless deposition of fat in the liver, which we wouldn't know about. It may be picked up on a scan done on a routine health check. The second stage is what we call as steatohepatitis, where the liver is starting to get a little bit irritable and get a bit swollen or inflamed. We might see some changes in the blood tests. The third stage, what we call as fibrosis, which is scarring in the liver. This is silent. So the scarring, what goes on on a daily basis, we wouldn't know about it. The liver can function perfectly normal. And the last stage is cirrhosis, which is severe and permanent scarring in the liver. This can now progress gradually to liver failure where the liver cannot function properly and the individual is also at risk of developing liver cancer. Who gets fatty liver? There is two categories. People who drink alcohol regularly and in excess quantities. So alcohol related liver disease. People who do not indulge much in the way of alcohol and wondering why they have got a liver issue. This is non-alcohol fatty liver disease and this is the one which we are increasingly seeing in our day-to-day -day clinical practice. I will be going through this in a bit more detail. So are there any risk factors that can make us vulnerable to develop this non-alcohol related fatty liver? What makes us vulnerable to develop fatty liver disease? There are various risk factors. First one and the commonest is being overweight, carrying more weight in the center, this fat in the belly. This is the biggest risk factor. Type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, having high cholesterol, underactive thyroid that has not been treated which can lead to excess weight gain if you have a condition where there is insulin resistance but there's polycystic ovary syndrome if you are about the age of 50 some of these risk factors can be in combination what we call as metabolic syndrome where an individual might have fatty liver blood pressure cholesterol and diabetes, all these factors 
put together can increase the chances of having further complications. Commonly asked questions in my day-to-day -day gastroenterology practice is how do I know I have fatty liver? Are there any symptoms that I should expect? Are there any warning signs that I need to look out for? My liver blood tests are fine, so there shouldn't be a problem. Liver is a very forgiving organ. It takes a lot of damage without giving much in the way of pain or symptoms. So we wouldn't necessarily know, know what sort of damage is happening inside our liver. In the early stages, there might not be any symptoms where there is just harmless deposition of fat in the liver. When the liver is a little bit irritable or a bit inflamed and swollen, one might experience some dull right-sided upper uh, discomfort. Some people complain of feeling extremely tired. Energy is lacking to do things. As the liver disease progresses and we reach this advanced stage of cirrhosis and liver failure, we can expect symptoms such as yellowness in the eyes, jaundice, fluid in the abdomen, so the abdomen gets distended, there is fluid in the legs, so you can see the legs are getting heavy. So in the early stages, there isn't any symptoms that we can rely on. How do we diagnose fatty liver or how do you know you have fatty liver? Well, the simple thing to do is to have a liver blood test, liver profile, which shows if there is any abnormal liver enzymes. But having a normal liver blood test doesn't exclude the possibility of having fatty liver. The simple test to do is an abdominal ultrasound scan where the sonographer can do a scan and see if the liver looks bright on the scan, which will be in keeping with fatty liver. You may have come across the reports with different gradings of grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 fatty liver. These gradings are not always completely reliable, but we do have the information that the liver looks fatty and that is simple enough to get on the ultrasound scan. In some people, the way the liver is positioned is high up or because of excess weight, the sonographer might not be able to get the good pictures of the liver as we wish. In those small number of people, we might need to consider doing a CT scan or even an MRI scan to get further clarification. There is something called fibroscan, which is similar to an ultrasound scan, but it gives us indirect information as to the extent of fat in the liver and also the degree of scarring in the liver, what we measure as fibrosis. The best and the gold standard is liver biopsy, but this is invasive. This involves putting a needle into the liver and taking a sample to check under the microscope. This is not something which we use routinely in the clinical practice. In a small number of people where there might be a slight confusion with fatty liver plus some other condition which might be affecting the liver and we want to know what is the main diagnosis to prescribe the right treatment in those small number of individuals. Occasionally, we might consider performing a liver biopsy, but otherwise, there is no need to do anything too invasive or any fancy tests. Majority of people with fatty liver do not come to any serious harm. They don't develop any major complications. So why bother about treatment? Why do we need to worry about it? Why is it a big issue? That's because 20 to 30% of people with fatty liver can progress to cirrhosis, which is the irreversible or permanent damage to the liver. That is three out of 10 people can develop complications from fatty liver, which can then progress to liver failure. It is therefore highly essential to modify the risk factors. So main, it's mainly controlling 
the associated risk factors which involves tight control of the sugars if you have diabetes good control of the blood pressure good control of the cholesterol triglycerides if you are overweight try and lose that extra weight and it is important not only just losing the weight but to keep it maintained if you lose 10% of your body weight when you are overweight this can make a significant difference this can move that extra fat out of the liver and prevent further scarring or complications choosing a plant based protein compared to animal based protein having a good mixture of fresh fruit vegetables and whole grain foods reducing the intake of sugar and saturated fats in our diet reducing the alcohol intake keeping it to social occasions or only on weekends in smaller quantities exercising regularly at least 30 minutes in a day and minimum of 5 times in a week and finally i have not mentioned anything about medicines yet that is because there isn't one single medicine that is going to get rid of the fat from the liver we do use medicines in clinical practice to treat associated conditions with fatty liver so the main stay of treatment is controlling and modifying the risk factors which is a lot of things that you can do at home fatty liver disease is extremely common and it is a growing health issue throughout the world the main focus of treatment is modifying the risk factors adopting healthy lifestyle changes the good news is it is fully reversible provided you implement the changes i have recommended in this video before the liver gets permanently scarred and damaged thank you for listening